Representatives from the region's surf clubs met to discuss their tactics for dealing with the potential violence on local beaches this weekend. While police efforts will be coordinated as part of the anti-riot operations mounted in Sydney, which have seen up to 450 officers on a mobile patrol through southern beaches. We have um, uh, some, some information that suggests there might be some activity around, around the beach area on Sunday and we're, we're certainly taking, uh, um, taking it seriously. The Victorian Commissioner Christine Nixon says she's aware of the potential for rioting here. Speaking about tensions in Wollongong, the former local commander said generally people are quite tolerant, but you sometimes get a spark that raises a lot of issues and then there's payback. Her comments are in response to a series of text messages calling for violence like those being issued locally. Yeah, we're aware of a number of text messages that are going around. Uh, we're testing that information now and feeding that into uh, in the intelligence side uh, up in Sydney as well. Member for Wollongong, Noreen Hay, says State Parliament will discuss giving extra powers to police in tomorrow's special sitting. We need to give the police what they need to be able to keep us, our streets safe. And I support the Premier 100% that we're not going to tolerate um, this kind of behaviour. Noni Edwards, Green News.